Hey everybody, MagPen991 here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new Resident Evil demo. This is Resident Evil 7, or Biohazard as uh, some people like to call it. Now this was released recently on Steam, they're calling it a teaser, but it's basically just a demo. It's been around for quite a while on the um, PS4 and the Xbox I believe quite a few months actually. Why it's taken so long to come to the PC I'm not too sure. But played it yesterday and I really enjoyed it. Now there's obvious comparisons between this demo and the PT demo that we was given the other year. The PT demo was a precursor to a new Silent Hill game which unfortunately was cancelled and will never see the light of day apparently. But everybody loved the PT demo, I loved it. It took you to a new place of fear whilst playing a computer game. Now, fear is something that's fairly easy to convey in games, but it's one of those things that once it's been done once, you've seen it a million times and it doesn't really grasp you. But PT did a really good job of getting your attention. And I think this is where Resident Evil 7 has... I won't say they've stolen the idea, there was maybe already developing this game before that was done. But it's definitely, you can draw comparisons between the two. Now the actual demo itself is very short, it doesn't last very long, there's not a great deal to do. But that's part of what brings the fear factor of it around. It's short, it's compact, you... You could just run around in it really and just do it really fast but it's one of those where you walk around slowly you take it in it's really really good looking the sounds are very atmospheric to draw you in really good i mean this as a vr game would be unbelievably good if they could ever pull it off but yeah it's a good demo i enjoyed playing it i would recommend that if you like the resident evil series that you definitely try it because for me resident evil is a series that's been waning for a long time. It struggled to find the success of the early days. You know, for me, the first Resident Evil game is the pinnacle, and it always has been. It's never been matched, no matter what they've tried to do. It's gone off in a direction where nobody really knows the storyline no more. Nobody really knows what the hell is going on in the Resident Evil universe, so... It's good to finally get a game that maybe grounds the series back in its roots. So that's quite exciting. It's good to play. And hopefully, hopefully we're seeing a return to form for this. Now it's due out in February, I believe. Early February. I could be wrong. If I am, I'll uh, finger myself on the screen and give you the date. Now there has also been a small patch for the game for those PC users that are playing the game through Steam. This fixes a couple of bugs that were picked up. One of those is that the game now works on CPUs without SSE 4.1 functionality. These are AMD Phenom chips and Intel Core 2 series, etc. Optimized HBAO Plus performance. They've also fixed an issue that was causing the screen change, the screen size to change whilst flicking between windowed and full screen mode. And the in-game purchase button now takes you straight to the actual site where you can purchase the game. I'm assuming before then it wasn't. So, a nice little patch there, not much in it, fixes a couple of bugs, so that's good. So yeah, that's all I've got for you today, folks. I would recommend checking out this demo, especially if you are a lover of the Resident Evil franchise. And even if you aren't, it's there, it's free. Give it a go, you might enjoy it. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down, that's fine. Don't forget to subscribe and I shall catch you in the next one. Take care.